Our next topic in thermodynamics is Wien's Law. It's a very short law, very simple, and very effective in finding out all kinds of great things here. And let me explain. Uh, Wien is a physicist who found the relationship between temperature and wavelength. <clears throat> now, when we talk about wavelength, we talk about the wavelength of the radiation of an object. So let's say here we have the sun, and the sun is radiating out radiation at about 500 nanometers, which is yellow light, and that's why the sun primarily looks yellow. Can we find out the temperature? And Wien was able to find that relationship. The temperature in Kelvin is equal to 0.0029, which is the constant of proportionality divided by the wavelength of the radiation of the object. And of course, the units here would be Kelvin times meters. So in our example of the sun, we say, well, it's equal to 0.0029 divided by 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. I believe the radiation primarily from the sun, I should say the peak radiation is closer to like 492 or so nanometers, but let's just round it off. And uh, that would be uh, Kelvin times meters. Of course, meters cancel out, we're left with Kelvin, and that ends up being 5,800 Kelvin, which is about 5,500 degrees centigrade, or roughly about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So the surface temperature of the sun can very easily be calculated using Wien's law. And it turns out, let's say you feel ill, you have a fever, you go to the doctor's office and you say, not feeling well, and they use what we call an infrared detector thermometer. Now it's a lot easier, just within a few seconds, they can take your temperature by simply measuring the radiation coming out of your ear, because your ear is kind of like a conduit to the inside of your head, which uh, would indicate what temperature your head is at. So let's say that the thermometer reads an um, infrared radiation at 9.1 micrometers. All right, so let's see, um, the doctor says, uh, your temperature therefore is 0 0.0029. Of course, your doctor doesn't pull out a calculator and start calculating. The thermometer has, of course, a little computer in there that automatically calculates it for you already. But let's say that uh, we want to know how that works. So we divide that by the wavelength. And of course, we're still using this equation right here. The wavelength, 9.1 micrometers or 9.1 times 10 to the minus 6 meters and uh, don't have that memorized so let's figure out what would that be 0 0.0029 uh, divided by oop, uh, let me try it again 0 0.0029 divided by 9.1 e to the um, 6 minus equals and so doctor says you have a temperature of 318.7 kelvin well hmm how much is that in Fahrenheit? Well, first we're going to convert that to centigrade degrees. So uh, if we subtract minus 273 uh, Kelvin um, per centigrade degree, or, or yeah, how do you convert that with the units? That's kind of a, so just take off 273, that might be easier, minus 273, which converts to centigrade degrees. So, oh, doctor says, you're in trouble. You have a fever of 45.7 degrees centigrade, which, by the way, is a really high temperature. I think they would be rushing you to the hospital. But, hey, I chose that number. Probably not the, quite the right number I should have used, but let's convert that to centigrade degrees. So to convert that to centigrade degrees, or to Fahrenheit degrees, I should say, uh, how do we do that? Well, uh, Fahrenheit is equal to centigrade degrees, uh, times the fraction 9 over 5, and uh, then we add to that 32 degrees. So let's do that here. So in Fahrenheit degrees, we have 9 over 5 times 45.7 plus 32. And so, so times 9 divided by 5 equals uh, plus 32 equals 114 degrees. 114.2 degrees Fahrenheit, and of course, uh, you'd be in big trouble if your fever was quite that high. I can see why the person's not very happy. So, temperature-wise, is a little unrealistic, but the equation works just fine. So, probably a doctor will never measure a wavelength like that coming out of anybody's ear. But, at least, this tells you how to do that.